I really do. Yeah, got a box of Forbidden Light here. You're gonna open it up. I mean, Sam's gonna try to open it up. I'm gonna try my best, honestly. Go ahead, go ahead. That's your answer to everything. Even when people start playing Wishy Washy Box, you throw that game. We're gonna put the box up here, actually. We're gonna split the packs. Yeah, I'll go. That's gonna be the box that has Alright, cool, cool, cool. I mean, I hope so. This. Let's yeah. let's get let's right. get the good stuff. Let's do it. So we got snow over here, a little beefy basic for 80 HP. It's pretty cool. Scatterbug. Rocker up, 70 HP rocker up. Actually, a lot of people will be switching to this one over the other one. Um, come the sets because of the HP pool. Scrope. We got Lit Leo. A reverse foil lady. It's just called Lady. It's literally just Lady. <laughs> And then we have the Evolved Form of Scrope, which is Dragalzy. Pretty cool if you like poison builds. Um, you know, it's a poison barb. It helps you, uh, you just don't have to attach it. So you can attach like a, uh, a Bursting Balloon or something and then get the poison and the Bursting Balloon. Energy, of course, now in every pack. As Elf, the whole trio is printed, so we'll see As Elf, Uxie, and then um, Mesprit. Ultra Recon Squad lets you go get some uh, some Ultra Beast cards. If you discard them, you get to draw three cards for each one. So you discard two, and you get six cards. Fossil Excavation Map, pretty. Uh, probably not going to see much. Money. Probably about a one star. <laughs> and then, oh shoot, we shouldn't show this to code cards. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I hope someone enjoys their free code card, or maybe I'll go edit that out. Yeah, yeah. Essentially. All right, moving on to the second pack. We start with a uh, hand champ. It's acting pretty tough, right there. We have a bergmite. Comes up. We have a scatter bug. The Kumi. Dew fighter. I like that. Magma zone. This is something interesting that Pokemon has implemented. Um, they're printing the same card. When separate typing, and then whatever they need to do to alter it to go to that typing. So before in the last set, we got a metal version of this that had uh, that had the same ability, but it was attached as many uh, metal energy instead of lightning energy going to the card, and the attack is the same. It does the same. It's just metal. It's just lightning for metals. Um, we also have a Diantha, which is very new to us. Um, hollow Rift supporters. Hollow Rift supporter. Yeah, I was going to comment. Weird. I haven't seen a regular Hollow supporter before. Um, the last one that was printed was printed three years ago. Or, oh, God. It, was, it has is to it, it's it, like it, been five years ago. Yeah, way, five way years long ago. ago. And that was Getsis, which has made a meta impact, so maybe Diantha will make a meta impact. Um, the one energy per pack. Um, a Tyrant doesn't do anything special. Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. no, no. Tyrant is the fiercest little dinosaur. Zoom out a little bit. Like, let, me, let me see if I can get it. Go, go closer. And... Ah, it doesn't wanna. That's, That's about fine. as close as I can get. That's fine. Everybody just understands Tyrant is the fiercest dinosaur. And he's a stage one, he's got 90 HP. He evolves from a fossil. He's another, trying to gloss over Tyrant. Alright, another Ultra <laughs> Recon Squad. And Amora, the other fossil Pokemon. Not as good as Tyrant. Just it's, it's, not, it's not a meat-eating dinosaur, so it's not as good. All right, next pack up. Carnivores only. Uh, we got Inkay, who's upside down, because that's how you actually evolve him. Pancham, 70 HP basic. Act pretty tough. cool, pretty cool. He's, uh, yeah, his attack is act tough. He's got a little uh, leaf in his mouth there. He always got that running around. Uh, Dupider, like Sam said, this is another one that was printed as a grass type, and now it's, uh, we're getting the water type of it. Uh, Finnegan. <laughs> Helioptile, just looking weird on a beach. Uh, Bergmite, who is love that face. One of the has one of the silliest evolutions in the game. Let's be honest. Avalog is just an iceberg. Uh, Zygarde. Um, I think this is the 30% form. Um, he's basically a snake. We got an energy there. Uh, our Magneton there. Sligu evolved form of Gumi. 
And then we got Frog of Deer. Now this is really cool because this Frog of Deer um, ability is like the old Golbat. When it comes into play, it does 20 damage to a Pokemon. So you can evolve your Frokies, do 20 damage to something, just by evolving. Um, there's some, some fairly good hype around this card, so hopefully uh, hopefully it'll see some good play. Yeah. On to the next pack. Uh, we have a Litleo. So this, we do have a Pyro in this set, thank god. I love that Pokemon. Uh, we have a Fennekin. Launcher. Uh, Binacle. Another Rockruff. And then we have a Garchomp. Um, this card has a little bit of hype coming around it because there was a Dragon type Garchomp that was originally printed in the last set and we're getting a fighting type one in this one. So it has a little bit more synergy with, the, with some of the stuff that comes out within the set. I like how they did the uh, reverse uh, the reverse symbol. hollowing with the with the energy symbol inside. Yeah. Used to not do that, it used to be a solid foil. <laughs> yeah. uh, our rare is Sylveon. Is this the one that we're talking about? No, it's not. <laughs> it's attack is wink wink. <laughs> wink wink. Uh, the one energy. Hoopa. Eating donuts. Yeah. Hoopa eating donuts. <laughs> Hoopa eating donuts. Um, it's attack actually isn't that bad either because you just search your deck for two for two item cards and just add them to hand for a single cycle, which isn't awful. And it having 80 HP makes it a little bit more bulky than you would expect. Um, the psychic weakness kind of hurts it right now though. Yeah, that, that's okay though. It's, it's meant to be. Meant to die. It's, yeah. it's fine. Um, Lysander Labs. This, this card is kind of cool. Um, we did have another stadium card, was it? That shut up tools. It was a Pokemon. Yeah. It was Bayonet. Bayonet shut up tools, and there's also a there's also a evil tall from one of the older XY sets. Friday night. That does the same thing, and then we have a Go Go, which likes to drink milk. His attacks just drink milk. All right. Up next, we got a Flabebe. So cool thing about Flabebe is uh, the ability here. Uh, you can evolve it on your first turn if you go second. Turn. So, um, kind, kind of like a EV or something like that. K kind of EV. You have to attach the energy and then you have to search the deck for it. But yeah, this is, this is similar. Um, 70 HP binnacle. I really like the fighting binnacle over the water binnacle. Um, as someone who's played Barbarical before, uh, Barbarical shuts off special energy attachments if you have a stadium at play. So it's kind of annoying. And having a fighting one is kind of nice. Uh, we got a happy little Magnemite there. Cubone, who. Happy looks, Magnemite, sad Cubone. I know, yeah, looks sad and lonely. Poor guy. Uh, Bunnelby. Again, 70 HP. They're going up with the HP, it seems like. Uh, fighting Krogunk. Uh, we had a psychic one a couple sets back, so again, keeping with the changing up the type and uh, bringing out new card. You know, same old card, new typing. Uh, Obama Snow. As a grass. As a grass. Um, unfortunately, not a very good card. You know, four energy for 80 damage is just not going to get you there. Um, especially just being grass like this. Um, fire energy. Uh, there's an Ooxie finally. Now, this card is really annoying if you only have one attack. Because this attack, you pick an attack and they can't use it. So if you only have one attack and they pick that attack, then you just you just can't use it. Um, obviously, if you switch in and out, you can actually use it. And, you know, conditions and stuff like that apply. So, um, Sam, you want to talk about Ultra Beasts? You, you, you seem pretty hype on them. So it's a non-hollow Ultra Beast. Uh, it, it's the basic one. Yeah. Hmm. So coming this set, we start to get Ultra Beast support. It's a sub archetype. In between other in between other cards, and they have a there's a stadium card for it. There's a there's a prism energy dedicated to it. But for the most part, this card is really cool. When we get the other cards, we'll go into an explanation about why. So I'm gonna set this card aside, and we'll come back to it. Pause for a moment because this is super important for us to talk about. And it's and its evolved form is actually really really good. All right, and then we got Crasher Wake. Um, it's just a way for you to discard water energies for Aqua Patch now instead of using Zorak. You don't have to really rely on that. So it's it's kind of cool, but then again, you also have to have two energies in hand. Um, obviously, you can set that up with letter and stuff. Oh, yeah, because the second half of the effect doesn't happen unless you can discard. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. 
that you need to you need to sit and pause on this card because you can search for any two cards. Like, right. That's, that's crazy. Well, that, that's 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 good, but see, well, that's why they attach. That's yeah. why they put the cost on it of yeah, having yeah, to discard two. two water. You have to do two yeah. waters. So I mean, it, it could be it could be potentially good. Um, discard two cards. You know, get it with letter. Uh, letter will get you two energies, and then you can play this. Um, but then again, that's a card that requires some more setup. Um, if you just play a deck with a lot of water energies, I know Empoleon. Um, Nine tails has been played. Decks that have you know consistently over ten energy in their deck might be considering this because it helps you especially in that stage two type. Moving on to our next pack, we get another one of the uh, different typing for other cards. Um, we have a Gibble that was Dragon type. Um, it's a it's attack lets you evolve one of your Pokemon or evolve the Gibble into Gabite and it just sort of accelerates that if you can't find the card. Um, we have another full baby to go second one. Uh, a Skidoo, I love this card, I like its name. One, one of the two Frokies from the set, um, there's one with 70 HP, which is the one that people are playing more, but I actually really like this card, because if it has any water attached to it, water energy attached to it, it retreats for free. So you kind of save a water energy and you can set yourself up later. Kind of turns the water energy into a floodstone. Yes. Um, Helioptile. Uh, reverse Frogadier. And not important rare. Um, fairy energy, uh, dew blade. It does nothing special. Judge. One of my favorite cards, Judge. Uh, Just to say, Judge. When this card, when this card first came out, um, it got printed in, in X Y Ancient Origins, and at the pre-releases, everyone would sit there and just scream Judge when they played it. It just added for a little comedic <laughs> aspect, and it made the judges really, really mad. Um, going into next format, this card might see a lot more play because it's one of the only draw supporters that we have left besides Cynthia, um, as of right now. And then as of, which... Yeah, we already got one, yeah. Got one. yeah. All right, so now we got, um, start off on Hone Edge. Um, sort of a Bursting Bloom type effect. If it's attacked and knocked out, it does three damage. Um, pretty cool to have a basic that does damage if you just kill it. Um, again, I don't know how viable Hone Edge and Aegis Slash are going to be. Furfru. Really good card for a pre-release. Um, lets you draw. Um, not really much use outside of that. Skidoo. Boomy, my favorite little dragon guy. Finnegan again with 70 HP, so we saw one with 60 HP, now we got a 70 HP one. Uh, we got a Lycanroc here. Um, this is the, the Dusk form, right? Uh, the orange one's the Dusk? It's like... Dusk, dark, day, day, dusk, day, day, night, night dusk? dusk, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, this is the one that Ash actually has in the... Um, in the anime, if you follow that. So, uh, we got Barbarical, um, fighting type. He's decent. Um, having a DC attack, you know, fighting DC attacks is pretty good. Um, he really probably won't see much play. Uh, grass Energy. And here we get to the one of the most anticipated cards of the whole set. Um, Mysterious Treasure. So, if you're familiar with Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball allows you to discard two cards and go get a Pokemon card from your deck. Well, this lets you discard one card, and you get to get a Dragon or a Psychic Pokemon from your deck. This can be used in conjunction with Tapu Lele GX, which is the, probably, I'd say, the most popular card right now in the TCG, just because of its supporter ability, where it lets you go get a supporter. Um, this sets up the Ultra Beasts, like we mentioned earlier, because um, the ones in the set are Dragon. You know, the, the, the really big ones in the set are Dragon and Psychic, so it lets you, you know, you can search him out. You can search out his Evolve form, which hopefully will hit and we can show you. Um, but this is one of the most hyped cards in the set, to where it lets you, you know, instead of having to discard two, which is a little bit heavier of a price, you can only discard one, and you get to go get the Pokemon. Essentially, it's also like a Ultra Ball number five through eight in your, de in your deck. Right, yeah, so, so it adds, adds additional search value to your deck. Um, Metal Frying Pan, again, a good card. Um, Steel Pokemon, just get awesome with this card. S unfortunately, Steel is not really 
in play right now too much. You know, Dustmane and Krasma is kind of floating around still. We may see some some help with Dialgia and things like that, but right now, you know, this isn't going to get too much. And then another good trainer card. We got all the good trainers. Um, Bonnie. Bonnie is the sole archetype of which you base Zygarde around. Um, Bonnie lets you take your Zygarde's GX attack and use it again. So you get to literally break a game rule with Bonnie. Um, so you can use your GX attack, play Bonnie, use your GX attack again. Um, not in the same turn, of course. Um, you, attacking ends your turn, but it lets you refresh that GX and gives you a fresh attack. Coming into our next pack, we have a uh, execute. Multiply is kind of cool. Um, there's an executor that you might see, might not, but it's, it's really cool, and it could be it could be decent. Um, we have Noibat, Magnemite, Skrelp, Furfur, uh, Florgus, the Evolve form, the a full baby, the final one, stage two. Um, its ability is okay. It allows you to take an item card from your discard pile and add it to the top of your deck. So I, it, someone might play it, but as of right now, it might sit to the side. Uh, Qualiter, Water Energy, Diggers B, Heliolisk, and Magneton. Nothing special. <laughs> yeah. Pack just went really quick. Alright. Well, we got another upside down EK here. We got another Pancham. We got Dupider. Kind of trying to run away there. The 60 HP oh, Finnegan. Helioptile. Mesprit, which is the one that we haven't seen yet, which is kind of cool. Um, the whole trio is just really cool. Um, I really wish they would have made them a little bit stronger than what they are. But, you know, it's just nice to have them. Heatran, uh, we got this in a steel type last set. Fighting energy. A 10% Zygarde. Uh, Anamura. And then the unit energy, which is another really cool, exciting card. So this counts as fighting, fairy, and dark. And then. It's a special energy. Obviously, you still only attach one energy turn. But this is going to make things like, um, you know, anything with Zorak, really, that has fighting or fairy in it. So, uh, Guard of War, um, maybe Lucario Zorak, I might see playing. Um, anything with Zorak is going to see this played a little bit more because then you can utilize Zorak's attack, which is Trickster GX, which allows you to use any attack on the field. I like the art on the card. It's, it's very pretty. I mean, yeah. the, the the secret rare is beautiful. It's just gorgeous. Coming into our next pack, we have uh, Litleo, Finnegan, uh, Clauter, Binacle, ah. another 70 HP Rockruff, uh, Zygarde, the 10%, uh, Buzzwool. Oh, he's back. Another yeah, it is. Really good card out of this set. Um, in the Ultra Beast deck that we had mentioned previously, um, Buzzwool is probably one of the more important one ofs in the deck because of its Sledgehammer attack, which states if your opponent has a, is at four prizes exactly, it does 30 plus 90 with 120. And there are a bunch of supporting cards that could help this do a lot more damage a lot earlier on. Um, especially that being an Ultra Beast and having the special Prism card that gives it 30 extra attack and stuff like that. Um, we're going to move that to the side so we can come back and talk about it a little bit more. Um, Dark Energy, another Goodbye, another Hoopla Eating Donuts, and another Crasher Wake. Cool, cool. All right. Uh, we got Noibat here, uh, coming in, 50 HP version, um, there's a 60 HP version that's a little bit better than this. Um, again, Noibat and Noivern is, is pretty cool, Noivern, uh, actually we saw play tonight, um, shuts off item cards, which is nice. Uh, Gibble, Execute, Gumi, 
Bergmite. Again, that little icicle guy. We hit Avalug. That's that'll be fun. Bunnelby. Hey, all right. Avalug. What I think is one of the silliest Pokemon in the game. He's literally just an upside down iceberg. He's yep. actually the iceberg Pokemon. Iceberg Pokemon. Yep. <laughs> It's on its type line. So. Yep. Uh, fairy Energy, Diggersby, Lady, Lady, and Braxian, the uh, the stage one of Finnegan. All right, coming to our next pack, we do start out with Froakie. Um, it is kind of important because this is the 70 HP one, the one that people are leaning towards for the Greninja deck. Um, that is potentially that is potentially uh, coming into our meta. Um, it's it's only good. It's only better than the other one because it has 70 HP, and you can attach an energy to it the very first turn and not worry about getting knocked out by like a top of Lele with a DC on it, uh, which would do exactly 60 damage. And if you attach the water to the other one, it would get knocked out. Um, another Krogunk. It's got some swagger with it. Uh, Esper. Creepy Pokemon. It is so creepy. <laughs> uh, Bunnel B. Uh, Hone Edge, which is like a kind of cool ability. Um, when it gets knocked out, you put three damage counters on the opponent's active. And, or one of your opponent's Pokemon. I apologize. Um, which is kind of cool, but there's really no point in letting your opponent take a prize for it only doing three da 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Um, we have another video. Uh, we have a Hollow Rare Garchomp. Um, Lightning Energy. Another Zygarde so again. We'll eventually get a playset. Uh, another fossil excavation map, which I think I think it's kind of cool. Um, just because you can search for the fossils to be able to use Tyrantrum and stuff like that. And then we end with another Dewblade. Cool. cool. Alright, we're going to start off with that card Sam doesn't like. Uh, Hone Edge. <laughs> uh, Fru Fru, which we talked about earlier. Another Skidoo. Another Gumi. Finnekin. Helioptile Reverse Foil, which is kind of cool. And oh, there's something shiny there. Let's see. Look at that. Okay. Uh, Dialga GX. Um, this is a really cool card. Uh, it was printed previously as a Dragon type. Now it's a Steel type here. Um, its attack cost didn't change. Um, its attack cost was Steel before. It's Steel now. Um, overclock lets you draw. Shred goes through all effects. Um, including abilities, so things like Hoopa, um, people are playing the baby Hoopa, it will ignore Hoopa's ability and just do the damage. Um, Old school Mr. Mime. Timeless GX allows you to take a second turn. Have they done that before? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you use it, you set it up, generally you want to use this to take a knockout, you set it up with a choice band, do 180. You know, next turn, then you you want the board to be in a state to where you can just end the game. So you can set this up to where you can take four prizes, and the, your opponent just can't even do anything about it. You know, so it's it's, it's a really good card, really cool pool. Um, you know, the steel version I feel is a little bit less playable than the the dragon version, just because if you play this in a steel deck, your whole deck is now weak to fire. If you play the dragon version, it's weak to fairy instead. Uh, dark energy. Gabite, Sligu, Fairy Water, which is kind of cool to know because um, they haven't been Fairy type before as far as attack costs. Um, high Jump Kick, Halucha. Halucha was pretty cool back in Fury's Fist because he did more damage. pretty cool. Coming into the next pack, we have another Execute. Noibath, Magnemite. Scrub, Fur Fru, another Judge, uh, Torterra, this card was originally Grass type, and it had grass, grass attacks, but now it is Fighting type, Fighting type stuff. But notable, it is weak to Grass. Yes. <laughs> it's just kind of silly. Makes absolutely no sense, but we're going to roll with it. Uh, psychic Energy. Another frog in here. I swear to God, we're going to get every single. We're going to get a playset of all of the uncommons. It will happen. We've seen the same ones over and over again. Uh, this is the first one we've seen, though. Swoopo. This is the first Swoopo. And, 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 and the next guy. You want to know what? All right. So there's a keychain Pokemon. I don't know if you guys know this, but there's a keychain Pokemon. It's called Klefki. 
again, I put it in that Avila category where I feel it shouldn't exist. Nope. It's just silly. Not really. <laughs> Alright, now we up again. Uh, we got a Krogok, Swagger, we got a Clauncher, got 70 HP Froki again, a creepy, creepy Esper, Hone Edge, the water or what rack one ed, like I said before, we've had a we've had a grass one before too. This is actually a different type, not the not the new one I'm thinking of actually. So um, and then we get a floor at oh, hello. Yeah, it's super pretty. Um unfortunately, though it is a pretty card, um not very playable. Its attacks are lackluster at best. Um you know, the the only really redeeming quality about it is the GX attack, and even that's sort of that. Nah. Um, they could have made it decent by making the second attack maybe a fairy DCE attack for 120. That might have helped a little bit, but even then, it's not just a just not a very uh, good card. Aesthetically, it's very nice. Yeah, that's a great looking card. It's beautiful. I love that card. Sam, I got two pulls. You ain't got nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Psychic, Mesprit, Floet, which is the second form of that Flabebe we saw earlier in the Flogus, Flogus. and Helolisk. Alright, it's about time I try and get something because it's not fair he's getting everything. So we're going to start out with a Gumi. Uh, we're going to go into another upside down NK. Another Gumi. Wait, did we is it a different Gumi? Yes, it is. Oh, that's a, a 40 Gumi. HP Gumi? Versus a 51. Oh, but it's got a power. Yeah. So its ability states, as long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's active Pokemon attacks cost one more. Or it's your opponent's Pokemon's attacks cost one more. Oh, so it's but got the... It's only the active anyways. I don't know why it says that. It's got the Trevenant thing, then. Kind of. The old, yeah, the old Trevenant where they toss the colors. Yeah. Uh, we have Snowbird. Um, Cubone. Everyone should uh, be happy for Cubone. He's on a nice beach. He looks so sad though. But he's on a nice beach. Alright, he could be in like Jamaica or something. Alright, so we have a Skidoo. Uh, Vivalon. This card's kind of cool, but it's a stage 2 and it's attack bonus 15. Which kind of sucks. But Pokemon might print something later on that lets this thing do something, because putting, instantly putting something asleep and poisoned is really cool. Um, fire. Another Halucha. Uh, another unit energy, as was explained earlier, can be used in many Zoroark decks. Um, depending on what they're playing against. And uh, break some. Okay. Sam's gonna continue to pull nothing. That's fine. I like all the shiny things anyway. Uh, we got a Noibat, a Gibble, Execute. That 40 HP Gumi again, which I think is like actually kind of cool. Bergmite. And a Volcanium Prism Star. What's that about? <laughs> so, Prism Stars are one of inclusions in your deck. You can only have one of each Prism. So, in its name, it actually says Volcanium. It has a Prism Star symbol. So, this card's name is Volcanium Prism Star. Hmm. Um, when they die, or when you use them, because some are trainers, they go to what's called the Lost Zone. And Sam, the Lost Zone's 10, correct? If you get 10, 10, you lose the game. So if you get 10 prisms, you lose the game, right? I don't even know if that rule still stands. I, I mean, it says so. Does it? I would assume so. I don't so, it doesn't, but... With the Volcanian, so once per your turn, you can discard a water energy and your opponent switches their bench, one of their bench Pokemon with their active. This effect works like a scape rope, so your opponent gets to pick, so you don't get a pick. It's not like a Lysander effect. But it's really a good way to get water in the discard for things like uh, Aqua Patch. Um, and then its attack does 100 damage for three water and does 20 to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So, kind of a good attack. Um, 160 HP is a good amount. And the fact they made it a water type weak to lightning, with lightning kind of being non existent right now, it could see some play. Um, you know, not a terrible card, not a great card. Um, definitely a good one for water decks. Hopefully, water gets some more support here. 
you're starting to see it. But this is for alligator coming out. That's really good, yeah. Uh, Rotom, pretty cool. Rotom, all the Rotoms have the abilities. You have nine or more tools in your discard, and uh, you don't have to pay their attack costs. We got a grass energy. We got a Bonnie. Another Frogadier. And an Importer. This is cool because it allows you to manipulate your opponent's energy. So decks like Guardi, you can take a DCE from their bent, one of their bench Pokemon and move it to their active to do 60 more damage because Guardi calculates 30 times the amount of energy attached. So it's pretty cool because you get to move your opponent's energies around. You can also use it to move a strong to a non-fighting Pokemon. And when you do that, the strong energy actually discards because it can only be attached to a fighting Pokemon. Please let me get something. <laughs> uh, we start out with the 70 HP Pro Croco. Another Croco. Esper. Funnelby. Honedge. Hancham. Executor. This is the card I was talking about earlier with the Executes. Um, Tropical Shake. This card. This attack does 20 more damage for each type of basic energy card in your discard pile. Uh, you may have or you can't have more than 100 damage done this way. Which kind of sucks that they capped it out, because this would be really, really cool to play. But Tropical Shade does hit for a max of 100 because of the card's uh, implications. But I don't know if it's 100 because of the types and then plus 20. No, oh, it's 20 plus. Yeah, it's 20 plus, but it says only 100 damage. Yes. You cannot add more than 100 damage. So good. You'd be adding, so it'd be 120. 120 is your max, yeah. Uh, was that the I have 2500 at home. Uh, a Bonnie? Yep. I have 2500 at home. A Magneton. And a Sleeve. <laughs> Alright. You doing video? Alright, next pack. Uh, we got a Bunnelby. A Binnacle. Bergmite. What do you think, bro? Should I just take out a Scroke. Froakie. Pangora Reverse. Pretty cool looking. He looks very angry. Oops. Gudra. Uh, whenever you attach a water energy card from your hand to this Pokemon, heal 20 damage from it. Could be useful. Not really. Stage 2s kind of have to be like, this is awesome to be relevant and you don't really get that feel from this, unfortunately. Uh, fighting Energy, Heliolisk, Floet, and a Puppetil. Feel Poipol. 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 All right. Uh, we're going to start this pack out with a Honage. Do the Opsile. Skidoo. Oh, I can see, see I something. See that. I don't want to see that yet. <laughs> um, a Dew Fighter. A Scatterbug. Um, the Zygarde, what is it, 50%? Uh, 30%? 30%? I think it's a 30%, yeah. 30%. Um, is this the reprint of the... Uh, I have no idea. Uh, it could be the 50%. I don't know. Uh, an Ultra to Cosmo GX. This card right here... Most hyped card in the set. Is the most hyped card of the set, as he said. Um, that is because of its Phantom Gazer attack, which does, for a Psychic and a Metal, uh, you discard all Psychic energy attached to it, and it does 20 plus 80, which is a huge number and can really stand a chance against most of the things present in the meta. Um, I can see it trading well with decks like Gardevoir because it, even though it's weak to Fairy, it still does enough damage very fast to be able to one-shot the Gardevoirs and be able to trade a lot faster because they are a stage 2 and this is a basic. Um, there is a Malamar in the set, which we will come to later eventually. Um, hopefully. Hopefully. It uh, accelerates one Psychic Energy from your discard pile onto one of your bench Pokemon. And so you can accelerate the Psychic Energy a lot faster and be able to swing for high amounts of damage 
in a matter of two turns. Um, this works, yeah, Carson's saying. This works with the mystery treasure that you guys saw earlier because it can grab Psychic and Dragon type, so it can grab both the Malamar and the Sultan and Crossbow, um, which sort of keeps things going. Um, it's GX attack, does 60 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. As long as both you and your opponent combined have six prize cards, you will probably never use this GX attack, but hey, if you end up using it, it might be worth it. Who knows? You could take three knockouts, win the game, kind of thing. Um, and that's your side, I don't care. No, My I side just, looks good. I'm just putting, I'm just, I'm just making a line, alright. Uh, we have a Fighting Energy, a Arachnid, the Evolve Fighter, the Evolve form of Dew Fighter. Uh, Ultra Space, this is the stadium that I was talking about earlier with the Ultra Beast Pokemon, and when we eventually get more, uh, we can go a little bit in depth into how this kind of stuff kind of works, but basically this card states that once during each player's turn, that player may grab an Ultra Beast Pokemon from their deck and add it to their hand. So it's basically an Ultra Ball or a Mystery Treasure for any of the Ultra Beast Pokemon for absolutely free. As long as the stadium is on the field. And we have a Koi Pole again. So that is our playset. We have now found four. Alright. Up next we got Krogunk. Execute. Scatterbug. It looks kind of creepy. Gibble. That rock rough again. Again, you'd probably see a lot. Well, that's kind of weird. So we got two rock roughs. Uh, reverse and a regular. In the same pack. And then we got a Zygarde. Uh, Metal Energy. Dublade. Diggers B. It goes from, by the way, being a cute bunny to being just, like, you need to shave, dude. It is gross. <laughs> it is kind of weird. Heal us, and that's it. To our next pack, we start out with a Inke, a Magnemite, Honage, Cubone, on that nice beach, once again looking sad, um, Snover, Finnegan, and Palkia GX. Um, they printed this Palkia, also in a Dragon type, along with the Dialga that we saw earlier. Um, its GX attack is actually kind of cool. I mean, because, <laughs> because in turn, you can shuffle all energy attached to your opponent's side of the field back into their deck while doing 150 damage. No, it is for five energy, but it's a little easier to get to because you can, you have cards like Aqua Patch that can help accelerate waters, or a Max Elixir that can also help accelerate waters, and then the last two energy are colorless, so you can attach a double colorless energy to it. Yeah, unlike, unlike the Dialga we saw earlier, this one is actually better in this form uh, over the Dragon form, just because of Aqua Patch and things like that that only affect water Pokemon. No Dragon Patch. Yeah, there's no, dra no, no Dragon Patch. No Dragon Patch. No. I <laughs> dragon Patch. <laughs> You play this with Zorax after that, and then you, you just, just win. You, yeah. yeah, you just win. Uh, Dark Energy, Araquanid, another Cleft Key, a Pokemon that doesn't exist in my eyes, and uh, another Frogadier. Yeah. Alright, we've got some pretty good pulls. We still got quite a few part cards to go through, so. Uh, we got Inkay, uh, Gumi, another Gumi? Different Gumi. Yeah, double Gumi. Snow over. Cubone, again with the double, like, Cubone, and then we have a Tyrantro, looks really cool. Now this is one that people say might get a lot of play based on its ability and then um, its attack, so we're just going to have to really wait and see what happens with this card. Being fighting and being weak to grass is kind of a downside because it could list a pot and things like that, but um, it does have the potential to actually be a decent impactor in the meta. Um, Steel, Braxian, another mysterious treasure, which is good, and another metal frying pan. Every time I see the metal frying, oops, every time I see the metal frying pan, I think uh, player unknowns battlegrounds. <laughs> the frying pan, the level four body armor. I love it. Uh, coming to this next pack, we have a Bumblebee, we have a Binacle, we have another Bergmite. I don't care what he says about Avalog, I really like Bergmite, I think it's funny. He's got a great face, look at him. Yeah, he does. He looks, he looks happy all <laughs> the time. He's so hype. Uh, we have a Skrelp, uh, 70 HP Froki, once again. A Reverse ox, uh, Fossil Excavation Map, um, a Magnazone, 
We got a second one. Fire energy. Breaks up. Another fossil excavation map. I guess we're playing Tyrantrum. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. At this point. Um, and a 10% Zygar. Oh my god, pick it up. <laughs> All right, we got a Noibat here, a Pancham, a creepy guy, <laughs> Execute, Scatterbug, another Noibat. We just saw one with a Scatterbug. Yeah, he's shiny. You know, when they first put these out in Sun and Moon, there was a yellowing problem with the reverses on the normal types. Um, they've somewhat fixed it, but sometimes you'll get them that where the card just looks yellow and kind of gross. Uh, Pangoro, Fairy Energy, Ultra Rescon Squad again using those Ultra Beasts, Amora, and Importer. Coming into the next pack, we start out with the other full baby. Um, this one's obviously not as good, but it does have a super rod for an attack, so it might not be awful. Um, it all depends. We have Esper, again looking very, very scary. Uh, Fennekin. Another Lilio. Perfru. Scatterbug. Another Rotom. Uh, again with the nine tour cards, it gets used the attack for free. I think those. I think it's cool. Yes, yeah, they have the same name though, so you can only put four in the same deck. It's Wash Rotom, something like that. I'm pretty sure. Is it? It might be. I don't know. Uh, Fairy Energy. The Dene. I personally love this card, um, only for the artwork. Uh, Dedene is one of the yeah, funniest yeah, looking Pokemon I have ever seen. Um, the old the lightning one was good. The old lightning one was good. You used to be able to one shot Evil Tails with it, yeah. with a muscle band. That, that was really good. But uh, Dedene is going to help you find a friend. So if uh, you're missing a friend, you can go ahead and get one with Dedene. Sounds like um, your perfect card, Sam. I mean, I love it. That's, it's my best friend. <laughs> uh, we have an Amora, and we have a Lady. Up next, uh, Honedge, Helioptile, Skidoo, which I like that he's just happy. Like Skidoo is one of the one of the one of the goats. Scatterbug, Reverse Tyrantrum, Aegislash, Slash, which is actually got a really cool attack. Um, ticking knockout, so you use the attack, and the next turn. If that same Pokemon's up there, and you damage that Pokemon, they're knocked out. Does that have to be knocked out from an attack? Just damage. Oh, wow. Yeah, during your next turn, if the defending Pokemon is damaged by an attack, it does say by an attack. Oh, by an attack. Okay. Yep, yep. So, you can do 10 damage to it. You can have Esper do whatever Esper does, and creep him out, and kill him. Want to make the thumbnail for this, I'm going to have a crying Esper. <laughs> Water? Heliolisk, Diggersby, and Lady. Anything is better than Esper. <laughs> We're really hating on Esper, that's not cool. Uh, starting off, we have a AK, Magnemite, Hone Edge, uh, another Crying Cubone on the beautiful beach, Snover, Furfru, and Zygar GX. Alright, this is another one of the hyped cards in the set. Because of Bonnie, the card that allows you to use this GX tech uh, as many times as you want, as long as you play the Bonnie. Um, Verdict GX, so it does 150 damage for two fightings and two colorless, and will allow you to not be damaged by anything or effect, prevent all damage from being worked on by attacks. So you can still get hit with like the frog in ears and stuff like that, but it prevents all damage, and so it becomes a 200 HP wall. So, together with Zygarde and Bonnie, um, you can potentially have a loop of cards going around. And it, be it says this Pokemon, so even if it goes to the bench, Verdict still stays. Um, it doesn't go away, which, which happens with most card effects. If it goes to the bench, uh, you can't use the ability anymore unless it says this Pokemon. Or unless it doesn't say this Pokemon, I'm sorry. Um, 
Then its first attack, so Cell Connect, is for a single, or for two colorless energies or a single double colorless energy. It does 50 and then accelerate two fighting energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon. Uh, which is really good because it allows you to ver Verdict GX pretty much the next turn after you attach your DC if you get one. And it's a basic with 200 HP, which is just absurd. And it's weak to Grass, which really isn't relevant right now in our format, so that makes things a little bit better. This is also another really hyped card uh, that falls basically into the same category as Ultra Necrozma under the Hype Train. Hype Train! Uh, we have a uh, Lightning Energy, another Poi Pole, a Halusha, and finally, a unit energy. All right, all right, all right, all right. Up next, we got Krogonk, the bad Froki, Flabebe, not an Esper, Clauncher, Amora, Fermosa, my favorite Ultra Beast, by the way. Um, <laughs> Unfortunately, the card's not terribly good. Uh, White Ray has the potential to be good, doing an additional 90 um, if the conditions are met. Um, really, really, really low chance that you'll actually get this set up with 3 energy on it with only 4 cards left. Um, cool hollow, but not very relevant. Um, Dark Energy, Judge, Azelf, and Tyrone. Coming into the next pack, we have Pancham, acting tough again, another adorable bird mite, a scattered bug, Gooby, everyone lo everyone should love Gooby, uh, Dupider, uh, Barbarical, Abominus, uh, Grass Energy, a uh, third mysterious treasure, this card like we said, is really good and works very, very well with the Ultra Necrozma. Uh, we have an Azul, and we have a Swoopa. <laughs> Alright, up next, we got a Noibat, we got a Pancham, we got an Irrelevant Pokemon, <laughs> we got an Execute, we got a Scatterbug, a reverse Sylveon, Wink Wink. A Lowen Marowak. Now this card's actually pretty cool. Um, it's a stage one, it evolves from the Cubone that sat on the beach. But he's got a free attack called Limbo Limbo. It lets you search your deck for two basic energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon any way you like. So that can set up other Pokemon. You can set up his own attack, which is a Lowen Club. It does 20 times the amount of old Pokemon with a Lowen in their name. So. Theoretically, you're doing 20 times 6 because it includes himself. Um, yeah, it says each, not each other. Um, so, you know, realistically, you can do 120 damage for a DCE, which isn't terrible. Um, fire is not really a huge impactor in the meta right now. Steel gets bigger than maybe, but um, right now it's not very useful. But the first attack's pretty cool. Oh, I haven't been turning upside down because of that creepy guy in the thing. Uh, Steel Energy, Unidentified Fossil, Mesprit, Floet, um, and just so you guys know, this this is still the most useless Pokemon, the creepiest, like... <laughs> Restraint Pokemon. Uh, coming into this next pack, we have a Fulbebe, a Esper, uh, this needs to go away, I'm just gonna throw that off the screen. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this one too. Um, <laughs> Two experts on the floor! Uh, we have a Fennekin. We have a Litleo. Furfru. A Arceus Prism. Uh, this card's kind of cool. Um, it just ignores all effects, so if, if a Pokemon's attack were to put it to sleep, then it wouldn't get put to sleep. And then Tri uh, Trinity Star is kind of cool. Um, you can use this damage only, or you can use this attack only if you have a grass, water, and lightning Pokemon on your bench for the overall aspect of the card being one colorless for 30 damage. It sort of makes up for it and it lets you accelerate things really fast. I can see someone doing this in the future. And we finally got something good. Uh, we got a Hyper Ultra Necrozma. Is that like the best possible card? Uh, uh, the best one you could have pulled in Hyper, yeah. yeah. So this is a, this is a, a Rainbow Rare. Rainbow Rare. There Sorry. You know. 
Um, Actually, this box has just been pretty good. This altogether. box has been yeah. really good. Um, this is probably the like we said the most sought after card, and it's in the highest rarity you can possibly get a rainbow rare. Technically a secret rare. It's technically a secret, but they like to call them rainbow rares here in America. I don't know why. Um, but we already went over alternate Cosmo, and this is a really good pull. Uh, definitely worth, definitely worth if you get one. Uh, we have a Water Energy, M Porter, uh, Araquanid, and another Ultra Space. Cool, cool. Uh, Snow Over, Scatterbug, which by the way, this guy's got 80 HP for a basics, kind of absurd. Uh, Scatterbug, Rockruff, get that away from me. <laughs> um, Skrull, <laughs> Litleo, Diancy Prism Star, two prisms back to back, that's kind of cool. Where'd that Arceus go, Sam? He got distracted by the Necrozma. Oh, I oh, put the Arceus fair. in the uh, Diancy Prism basically boosts your fighting Pokemon by 20. So it boosts your Zygarde attack by 20. So just think about this. You have this out, you use a DCE on this, it does 70 damage. And you get it, get two energy. That's just, that's crazy. That's so good. Um, really, really, really high value for, like, what it does. It just sits on your bench and boosts your damage. Uh, Noivern. Fairy energy. Donut Hoopa. Hyperspace Donut Ring. Uh, Crasher Wake. And Dublade. Is that what it's called? No, 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 no. It's oh, hyperspace, hi, hi, hyperspace. hyperspace ring. Just no, eating donut donuts. ring. Donut ring. <laughs> donut ring. Got yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Up next. Somehow Sam has a pack less than me. I don't understand why. Uh, Krogunk. Kuroki. Flipebe. Gibble. Clauncher. Floet, the evolved form of Flabebe. Toxicroak, which the psychic version of this is actually really cool because if a fighting Pokemon is knocked out, you play the psychic one with a DCE and you can one shot like a buzzle. It's actually really awesome. Um, good value. Um, Water Energy, Lysander Labs, Daydene, Sam's friends, and the GOAT. All right, coming into the last pack from my side, uh, we have a Gibble, uh, the Better Full Baby, Skidoo, uh, Froki, Heliopsile, Snover, another Toxicroak, this card's super good, a Psychic Energy, Mesprit, Unidentified Fossil, which this can turn in, 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 into either Aurorus or Tyra. And finally, we have a Oopsie. Cool, cool. Alright. Last pack of the box, guys. Can't really complain the little we got. Um, there's a couple cards we haven't really seen yet that are rares that I would like to see, but... Alright, cool. So, Binnacle. Happy Magnemite. Sad Cubone. Not an Esper. Still not an Esper. Hey, B stream. Oh, yeah. Cool. So we were just talking about how not everything you're gonna get in the box that is really hyped. Uh, hyped card. Um, insanely good card. So if you have between three and four price cards remaining, your opponent, your opponent does. You get to go get what two? Two basic energy. Two basic energy. And, and, and an ultra beast. Ultra beast. So let's just go grab two basic energy and attach it to ultra necrozma. All right, so let's grab two Psychics. We already got a steal on them. You're doing an insane amount of damage by playing one item card. Um, easily, easily, easily probably the best card in the set, I would say. Um, because this interacts with Buzzwall, which is an already printed card. Um, it interacts with Ultra Necrozma. It's going to interact with the new Ultra Beasts that are coming out um, in sets to come. Easily just an amazing card. Uh, Darkness Energy. Spoopa! Uh, still not an Esper, which is cool. And Gabite. And that is our box. Alright, so like I said, I was going to go over some of the Ultra Space, Ultra Beast stuff with it being a sub, with it being a sub archetype. And uh, we didn't get a Not Gonna Del GX, but the people behind me happen to have one. 
So this is not going to gel GX. Um, sort of with the Ultra Space cards that are coming out, it's sort of it's sort of making its way sort of making its way into the meta by creating a new archetype for the rest of us to sit and play with. Um, like I said, Ultra Space allows you to grab one Ultra Beast Pokemon and add it to your hands. Um, Nagana Dell is super good um, for what it is because of how much fighting Pokemon are in the meta as of right now. Um, it allows us to attack with this and be efficient. Um, because all of the good fighting Pokemon in the meta right now are weak to Psychic, as Buzzwell is. And then there is another card called Lucario GX that is also weak to Psychic and is very good in the meta. Um, and sort of rounding off the Ultra Beast support that we have, like we said, there's Beast Ring. And Beast Ring is super good because it allows us to accelerate two energy onto one of our Ultra Beast Pokemon. And for the most part, you'll do it onto a Buzzwell GX in this deck in particular um, because it sort of gives you a big explosion of good of good damage coming at your opponent very very fast if they take the first knockout or if it's late in the game and they finally take a knockout you're allowed to play this card and it makes things a little bit better. Um, we do have a Mysterious Treasure also does help just a little bit. Both of those guys. Yeah. Um, which makes both Nagana Dell and Ultra Cosma grabbable because uh, he is psychic type and Ultra Cosma is dragon type, so it works for both uh, effects of Mysterious Treasure. And it's another search, it basically makes you have more Ultra Balls without discarding two cards. Um, and then Point Pole is a little thing for Nagana Dell, and you have to evolve it, which is the only Ultra Beast right now that you have to evolve to let it do its thing. But that's what I wanted to sort of go over a little bit. We appreciate you guys watching and would like to close it off here. And if you have any Dedenes for Sam, uh, again, they're his only friend. Go ahead and send them in. I'm Tim Patton. Um, yeah, I'm a local player over here, and it was, it was fun opening up this box over here. Uh, Java Game House. Super fun place to come out and chill. So I am Sam Pomar. And I wish you guys the best of luck in your polls, and I hope you guys have fun with the set. Thank you.